guys, Daily Banana here and welcome back to Feed the Creeper. We are over at my void base area thingy, whatever. And yes, basically I'm tired, so I'm really tired. I hope you feel way better than I do right now. I really hope that for you guys. So, first of all, update. Yes, I, I did stuff. I believe we ended up doing this right here at our last episode. And right now we are producing gold, iron, creeper seeds, still creeper seeds, okay, glowstone, redstone, diamond, nether, and certus quartz. And here's one missing. Hmm. Is there one field free? Something doubled. Iron seeds, nether, certus cards, creeper, redstone, glowstone, nether seeds. Why are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> that's the night. I'm so confused. So that's what we are producing right now. Oh, sorry, I said I'm really tired. Oh my god. And just for in here, I made some ender just last. Just for essence, we got a lot of this stuff here and basically a lot of everything and I also produced a lot of everything. And that is, let me show you this real quick, enough stuff to make 261 lily pads. Yes. And for lily pads, we are just missing white dye this stuff here. So for that we need a tree farm and as you can see in my inventory we are going to build a fully automatic tree farm today that doesn't even need power at all and that's awesome and it is fully automatic for dye trees so you can farm these fully automatic and that's, that is that's so awesome. And let me show you something else. While, yes, I made actually over 1800 of these them things and they stack to 16 only and you have to fill them here and yes I have to automate this definitely oh and ooh, I made one of these 64k storage drives already and we will need a lot more of them and I can basically make an, an infinite amount yes can make as much as I want I will do this because we will need it for the tree farm. Um, as soon as we have enough storage, we can let the tree farm running a lot. And why we can build a tree farm? We got this bedrock axe. That is so cool. We got this from audio. Um, he managed to give us three already. We ordered 17. <laughs> so this will take, take, take some time. So yes, but we got three already. That is awesome. And let me show you this. Bam! And it's all gone. It's so awesome. It doesn't really work if you have different trees here around. You got the problem that um, it does cut down the leaves, but it, if it is not the same wood, these logs stay here and uh, don't count as a tree anymore. So let me chop all this down real quick. That's a, li that's a little bit bad because these um, these die trees actually pick out of all the wood that is in the game and rubber wood including just some wood so you get random wood Boop. <laughs> and yes so you can uh, you you end up with random wood because it picks random wood and that's why you don't get the same wood all the time and I like it because it also gets us rubber wood we can put this in a sawmill later on and I don't even have a shovel and oh wait oh no I don't have a bedrock X because these bedrock X work perfectly on this stuff too and now let me quickly um, get rid of some of this cobble so I can pick up the stuff here it doesn't lay around yeah, as I said we get a lot of rubber wood too and we can put this into a sawmill and get rubber from it to get these um, actually glue yes ball of glue and with ball of glue you can make 
rubber stuff. That's cool. So we have a source of this stuff too. That's actually pretty nice. And for wood, yes, you get all the wood types. That's so awesome. Just with, with a single tree farm, basically, we will get all the wood types and a lot of it. And we don't build out of wood, so it doesn't even help us too much. So now for the actual tree farm, we will need to really have no shovel at all. Let's make a shovel real quick. Shovel. Yeah, no. Get me some sticks and get me diamonds. I have to make some new one because we have so many. Oh, it's awesome, actually. Okay, this should be quicker. Now, we have to think about it. We need a 9x9 nine nine area. So if we call this here the center, right there, we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, center, one, two, three, four, bro. Let's get rid of all this stuff here. Count this out too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's this stuff right here. And this is pretty fast, by the way. Pretty cool. And I still have my coin of suck, this thing here, so we don't even lose the stuff. That's pretty nice too. I really love this thing. So it's uh, oh, I took out again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here it is. And hmm, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that works. Pretty cool. Let's get rid of the stuff here. And this will be temporary right here. And we will move it later on into an actual building because as soon as we got this tree farm, we have all the materials for our actual building blocks together. It's just the die missing, so that is awesome too. And let's quickly find the middle again. Is it this block here? One, two, three, four block. Oh, here. Because this one counts too, right? Okay, this this will be the middle block. Here will the tree will grow here. And oh, by the way, I have to show you this thing: block mover, best thing ever. Can we show the recipe? Not too bad. And a person, a little bit of obsidian. With this thing, you can move any block you want, and it will keep its inventory. Just as an example, um, if you take this one, this has sludge in it, and copper and energy and stuff like that and if you take this oh no can you please be a thing nice now it's glowing and we got this this the thing here and if i put it down again everything is still the same this is so awesome oops did i pop off the, the liver now yes i did <laughs> It wasn't too smart. No, stop harvesting carrots. Stop it. And it happened again. Go away. Please. Oh yeah, great. And did he glitch through and fall into the void? Oh, that's awesome. Yes, with this regeneration thingies. And could you get out of here, please, bird? No. Could you? Arrgh. Just don't be noisy. Uh, I, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so basically, you can use this block mover to move anything. Ev even spawner, everything keeps its inventory and stuff and things. Uh, it's just perfect. Perfect item ever. Most perfect item ever. Hmm. Okay. Now we are getting there. Let's build up. We will need two of these, and we will need one of these. And for here, you put down two of these guys. I will show you the recipe, I think. Oh, and it gets refilled here. Okay, for this one, auto planter, just uh, iron pickaxe, iron stone stuff, piston, pretty cool auto planter. This thing here will just plant saplings for you. Pretty cool. And this autonomous activators here. Mm, I 
me show you the recipe too. It's not too bad either. One of the servos, piston, and chest, and it's tin actually. And yes, these servos are not too bad at all, just usually glass works too. So you get two of these. And these guys mimic player actions. That is pretty cool. You can't put the watering can in there, doesn't work, does break, mm, bad. And you say what to do, basically. And in this case here, down here, we would like to have right click because this one will have bone meal. This one will have sapling. So this one places a sapling here. This thing bone meals it. And this thing does the trick. We get to left click. You can also um, tell it to sneak or round robin use items. So different ones and the aim level where it should aim. So in this case, it is um, just straight and it works. We could use down, well, it doesn't matter, I think. And if you put a bad drop pickaxe in there, yes, this thing will never break, never, ever, 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 ever break. And it will harvest the trees basically instantly. You, you saw that, I can demonstrate that real quick. If I get some sapling, uh, this is the white one just one of them and some bone meal so many bone meal one should be enough if we place this right here and use our bone meal on it Oof. oh great <laughs> perfect example <laughs> this, this, this is so stupid this nearly killed me you see this wood here it's fuse wood and as I said these trees take just random wood and this one is from the nether Yes, and if you destroy it, it explodes. Yes, and one explosion from one, one lock nearly kills you with uh, iron armor. So, go at max range. Ooh. This time it was, wasn't too bad, but stay away from fuse wood. And funny thing is you can actually replace it somewhere. And if someone breaks it again, it it will explode again. This does no block damage. Let's try to get this real quick. Uh, you see that? Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> really. <laughs> That's not funny at all. It nearly killed me um, the last time I used it. But as you saw, if you use the bedrock pickaxe, the leaves despawn instantly. Really instantly. And that is awesome for the farm so we can pick up the stuff really, real fast. And if you now go ahead and go into this area here, mm, and let's say right here, place one of our ender chests, our standard collecting system, and get one of these advanced item collector. Let me show you this. You go into here, so you glowstone, and the diamond, pretty expensive for starting, not for us, because we've got infinite items. Uh, the item collector isn't too bad either, um, obsidian and hopper and I don't know, stuff. And an iron hand, you know, it's a stick, of course. And as soon, you, you can place this on top of ender chests, okay? Or basically on top of any inventory, I, I guess, I believe, I don't know. And if you, you need a, a I hate these, really, why do they spawn? Uh, have to do something about it. Uh, we'll come up with something that prevents these guys from spawning. You see that? that? That's why the water's there. So they don't climb on top and fall down and trample my stuff. God. Okay. Right click them, empty hand. And you can get or set a radius where it collects items. Just by itself. And that is so awesome. And now that I think about it, we should probably get this thing here. Whoop! Just underneath. Oh, great. Where is that block? Let's... Ow! Ooh, it hit me with the axe? Really? <laughs> Why would you do that? That wasn't too nice. Okay, let's mm, think about it. Where can we place this without interfering with any cable? We can go down a little bit. Could I place the block, please? Thank you. Very kind. Okay, let's put this guy here and this guy on top and give it a, oh no, 
that I oh, didn't place another one. Let's increase the radius to 9 actually. In I don't care, any direction, I believe. So we definitely have to 9 by 9 and up too. And we can now top this off again and get rid of the stuff. And this ender chest will pick up all the stuff that comes out of this tree farm. And that is pretty cool and, and pretty nice. So, for example, I don't have any of these item collectors in my system now. Item, no, it's not there, okay? Deactivate the coin and just drop them somewhere. And it's gone, and it's gone, almost instantly. And if you not check in here, item, there it is. So awesome, I love these. And for now, we have to get this thing going. And for that, we need to do something very specific. And that's encase it in glass. And it is 17 high, I believe, including this um, bottom block here. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And that's it. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nine. Did I get this correct? Oh, looks good. Okay, let me encase this real quick completely in glass. And let's leave an entrance for now. Okay, guys, I think I got it in. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> it took forever. We really need a building wand. We should get a building wand. But we will go for dungeons pretty soon again. I really love them. And I, I just have to make some gear and weapons, maybe, and yeah, stuff like that. And we need a bedrock pickaxe again, so we can pick up all the spawners. Uh, not like that we will use them, no, we won't use mobs at all, but uh, I kind of like collecting them, I don't know. But this thing is in, and this will prevent the saplings from flowing out to... I don't know, and all the loot flowing out in all the directions. So what you also need is access right here and access right there. And with that, I believe, are these set to always on? Yes, this one is. And this one is on too. So that is awesome. What we need now is a lever please let's get let's not fall down oh great and this flying here doesn't work quite as good as the survival one so this is the rope so in this case this bone meal thing here should be off okay perfect that works just for now i need mm, saplings white saplings. Let's get a stack of them. And we need bone meal. Hmm, we need way more of that. So we should look up essence. Oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Let's do this real quick and make a lot of bones. Hmm, let's put it back in. Top, top. And just make more bones. Okay, great. And go for bone. Yay, we got a lot of bones and still so much essence left. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, perfect. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's quickly make 10, 11, 12. Who cares? Okay, make enough. That's the point. No jungle wood, no of this, and no this, and no this. And we need saplings, and we actually need 3, 4, 5. Hmm. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> That's really not my day, but. We will go there, we will get there, not go there, get there. Oh, luckily I got some glass left, so we can close this off, so nothing can escape. And 
now what we will do is go down here, put our saplings in, and as you already heard, it just places the sapling there, and we turned off the bone meal thingy. And if we now get this all in here and flick the lever, it will start going. And this is really noisy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, let's check the count of the white die. You can see a little bit in the background. So just saplings. They are going up and up. And the white die goes up to like crazy. Just by doing nothing. And this thing doesn't even need power at all. Isn't that great? I really love it. <laughs> it's so awesome. Let's check on the white die. Uh, we are about um, 200 and 130. Let's try to remember that. And I will, as this thing is going, and it will just have one stack of saplings. And we get big trees too, and nothing flows out. Um, now we can make all the dies and all the die blocks and the lamps. And this right here whoop, is a layout I made with these whoops, can I get down there please building guide from open blocks pretty cool I think I showed them already I made a bunch of them and laid down um, they changed something here I believe in the in the last patch so these are easier to see now and I don't know I like them and this I think will be the shape of the main building and one of these is actually one of these magical crop fields over there. One, two, three, four, five of them and a room in the middle and this will be a little bit in case two and it looks really cool. Um, you will see it in the next episode because now we got all the stuff and one of these structures here will be dedicated just to essence dust to start off we will replace it later I think and the other one I think we will go at least to start off with one of these patches per different essence crop so um, I don't know this will be redstone maybe and this gold and whatever and we can build more of these structures that's not a problem and if we say okay we need double the amount of gold so we can put um, another layer here on top about this height and just redesign the building a little bit and first of all as uh, first I thought to get one crop type and get actually five of these fields for them but to be honest that might be way too much because we can chunk load the stuff at least I believe we can we still have to check um, if that affects the server or not. I mean, we are in the void, that's good for chunk loading because there's not too much stuff, but I don't know if that is a good idea or not yet. We will find that out and, oh, this is already done. So it's gone through all the saplings and now we are at white. We got, I don't know, this was 130, and this was like 200. I don't know, just in this short period we already got this stuff, uh, no, no, it's gone, damn, here, here it is, already got this stuff and we can automate this using the ME cable that is already there and if we now put automatically uh, bone meal in here and just go through all the bone meal already, no, was just a visual glitch, right? Okay, I was kind of shocked. Why did it do that? So to put automatically bone meal in there and automatically saplings in here, this thing will be automated. And to be honest, there should be enough. Oh, maybe not right now. Hmm. Okay, let me quickly break inside. Let's check on the light level, on the block light. And we can go with this, I believe make it actually super bright in here so the trees grow even this will be better maybe yes we have okay let's quickly check oh don't hit me 
We have 11 in there. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Let's not die. Um, so the trees grow even if we don't have any bone meal in there. That should work. And you could you please go out here. Problem is I heal them with my <laughs> with my with my this one here with the magenta one. <laughs> so stupid. And now I collect something I don't want. Let's get rid of this. No mob using. Nope, 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 nope. Not even that. That's not what we do. So actually this is one of the tree farms. I have two more of these pickaxes and the stuff. I will off camera build up two more of these. And I will get a export thing. Um, how is, is it called? Precision export bus. Yes, I will go through all the stuff here and put a whoops process precision export bus under here putting in saplings in there and one oops no don't yes one under here to get bone meal in there and maybe set something up that turns all the bones automatically into bone meal something along these lines so this can run and what we also will do Okay, I won't do the bone meal thing because we don't even have the space and we don't need to run it at full speed all the time. That would be crazy, really. Uh, we don't need that. We just need to get the saplings in there. Okay, let me quickly check. Can we real quick make the, the export bus? Precision export bus. Okay, need one of these processors. So I don't have any memory card anymore, but we need this. Can we just make it? Thank you. Make two, I believe. Okay, oh, I need one more of these pretty soon. Let's make three. Who cares? Huh? Did it break? No? Great. Okay, I made a lot of these actually. And I have my redstone furnace right here. Oh, there's more of it in. As I said, I made some. Uh, let's quickly bunch them in here and make processors. What we also need is. Export bus, we need this, and we need this, and we need this. Oh, see, we, we need we needed one more anyway. Let's see what we have. Uh, to be finished, please. Thank you. That is great. Okay, let's do this. Uh, in there, in there. Can we make you? Yes, great. Okay, one of these. Uh, put it in here, so we can instantly use it. And one of these, please. What did I have some ME cable left? That is great. Yeah. And now the full thing. Do I have a piston? No, I don't have any piston at all. Hmm, let's make a piston. Let's make a bunch, actually. Who cares? Really? No wood. <laughs> we should get enough wood by now. It won't be a problem. I just have to craft some planks. Wait, I have the thing already, right? Ugh. Okay, that, that was right. That was correct. And this one, and now I have the precision export bus, and we should look up ME cable. No, oh, two. Two have to be enough right now. And, oh, yes. No, yes. Uh, what is it called? Sapling. There it is. We will go for the white first, I believe, and I can get the second one for the limes and the third one for the green. We will need green pretty soon. But for now, hmm, please be enough with two. <laughs> okay, we need to stick this thing onto here. Uh, the glitch out or something? Oh yeah, great. no. Really? Did my... Oh, there it is. Okay, great. That is so weird sometimes. Can I get my wrench? Can I wrench these? I believe I can wrench these, right? Eh? Yes, perfect. Okay, could you now go onto this thing? Great. Great. Oh, it works! <laughs> Just a two! Great! Okay. Um, stack mode, please. And put white sapling stacks in here, please. Always active. Great! <laughs> and it's going. And it will keep putting these saplings in there. 
forever basically. And as soon as we run out of the bone meal, and I might let it run out of the bone meal, I have to check, I don't know, maybe all my discs will run full, <laughs> it would be bad. But if you look inside here, it just instantly picks up stuff. Where does this redstone stuff come from? Oh yeah, obviously it's the same chest for all. <laughs> so that, that is what we're producing right now, it's all in the same ender chest, some, some essence coming in and mostly tree coming in. And if you check out the wood, we get all kinds of wood. <laughs> it's so awesome. What I thought about is opening a wood shop at spawn or a wood, you can just take it for thingy. <laughs> that would be nice, I believe. We will see. But guys, I think ramps it up for today and we are getting more and more animals and I will, I will figure something out to prevent that because no and as you can see twilight animals why are you here it's a mushroom biome I have no idea <laughs> okay guys I will build two more of these and get all the cabling done off camera and start to get a lot of resources and make a lot of our building blocks maybe automate some stuff we will see i will show you this next time also i will get a lot of more of these 64k drives and i will check on this until it's done and maybe turn off the bone meal because these will grow from by themselves anyway and it will keep planting them so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed and sorry if I was a little bit distracted. It was a rough week, we were kicked in. Enjoy your time. Until next time, see you guys. Bye bye.